welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i will be explaining you about the superposition theorem in the subject of basic electrical engineering so in this video we will understand what is superposition theorem and then we will also see an example problem uh, so that you can understand it in a more better way but i recommend you to watch the video till the end that is you have to definitely watch the example problem don't skip it if you skip it if you just watch the definition and go you will not understand anything okay so let's get into the video without any further delay so let us first read out what the statement says according to the superposition theorem the voltage or the current across an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of voltages or currents across that element due to each independent source acting alone okay so each independent source is either open circuited or short short circuited here independent source could be anything it could be a voltage or it could be a current okay so the voltage or current across an element in a linear circuit so this element consider this element as a resistance okay so the voltage or current across each resistor in a linear circuit is equal to the algebraic sum of voltages or currents across that element due to each independent source acting alone okay i will explain you the example and then you will understand the definition more better way okay suppose you have two independent sources okay into one is voltage and the other independent source is some current some 2 amperes of current and 6 six volts of voltage let us assume so and we have a resistor with 3 ohms of resistance so on this resistor whatever the voltage or whatever the current is is the, that will be equal to the sum of algebraic uh, sorry the algebraic sum of voltages when they are acting alone that is when 6 volts alone is acting how much when 2 amperes alone is having how much when you add both of them then you will be getting the voltage or current across that 3 ohms resistor okay um, maybe you guys might not still be clear about it just leave it after example you will understand it more clearly so what did i say here each independent source independent source could be either a voltage or a current source so each independent source will either be open circuited or it will be short circuited so when do you short circuit and when do you open circuit suppose if it is a voltage source okay if it is a voltage source in that case you will short circuit it okay and if it is a current source in that case you will open circuit it okay that means if it is a voltage source you will be replacing it with zero volts and if it is a current source you will be replacing it with zero amperes okay and uh, do not turn off the dependent sources do not touch the dependent sources just leave them as they are and this theorem is not valid if the circuit is a non-linear circuit it is valid only for linear circuits okay now let us try to understand this with an example this is our example problem use superposition theorem to find out the voltage across 4 ohms resistor where is 4 ohms resistor here it is so the voltage across this 4 ohms resistor we have to find how by using the superposition theorem so first what you have to do identify the independent sources what are the independent sources in the circuit 6 volts is one independent source and 3 amps is one independent source okay so now what we have to do we have to turn off each independent source and find out the voltage in each case and then add the voltages in both the cases so that you will get the total voltage right so let's see first let us consider this uh, let us consider turning off this 3 amps diagram i mean sorry 3 amps uh, um, current source okay we are turning off the 3 amps current source so when we are uh, like what do we say when we are turning off the current source what we will do we will do the open circuit right so if it is a voltage source we will do for voltage source we will do short circuit but for current source what we are doing we are doing it open circuit so now the new circuit diagram will be so now the new circuit diagram will be like this we remove this 3 ampere source and we did it as a open circuit other 8 amps 4 amps 6 volts everything will be as it is we just remove this and let us consider the voltage as v1 over here now our task is to find out v1 okay now um, how do you find out v1 
for example uh, assume the current passing over here is i1 okay and now apply kcl apply kcl in the circuit now for time being forget about this circuit just consider this circuit and apply kcl in this circuit however here it is open circuit so the current will be zero in this loop okay that means you are applying kcl only in this loop right so uh, how do you write the um, kcl equation so 6 volts i'm sorry sorry for confusing you guys apply kvl kvl means voltage right so what you will do 6 volts minus 8 times what is the current here i1 v is equal to ir formula i1 into resistance is 8 ohms minus okay 4 into what is i1 here again what is the current here again i1 is equal to 0 okay why we got minus sign convention you know right current always flows from higher potential to lower potential so the potential will be dropping so as a result you are taking it as minus like this so 6 volts minus 8 i1 minus 4 i1 you will get 12 i1 is equal to 0 okay take it as 6 only again if you see v you will get confused that v is again another variable so you will get 6 is equal to 12 i from this you will get i is equal to 0 0.5 amperes right when you send 12 to this is 6 by 12 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 amperes but what is your task here your task is to find out v1 right so how do you find v v is equal to i into r v is equal to i into r what is the i you got 0 0.5 and what is the resistance what is the resistance over here at this point don't forget about this v1 right at 4 ohms resistor you are finding out so 0 0.5 into 4 which is equal to 2 volts so v1 is equal to how much 2 volts okay so the voltage acting on 4 ohms resistor due to the 6 volts independent source is how much 2 volts in the same way you have to short circuit this and you have to consider this 3 amps current source and find out v2 and then you will have to add v1 and v2 okay very simple guys this is the original diagram so in this we have how many independent sources two independent sources so you will be getting two cases first case we turned off the current source and in the second case we will turn off the voltage source suppose if this circuit diagram is having three independent sources suppose here it is having one more current source then you will have to do three cases first turn this off second this second third this okay sorry how many independent sources are there you have to turn off all those independent sources and you have to find out the voltage in each case and add all the voltages very simple now in our second case what we have to do we have to keep this one and we have to short circuit this voltage source right so if we short circuit this voltage source let us see what is our new diagram this is the diagram that we got after short after short circuiting this voltage source see this is our original diagram and uh, wait a second from this original diagram we got this one okay that means we just remove this source the other everything is as it is now let us see now let us consider the voltage as v2 over here and now let's find let's calculate the voltage okay consider current as i2 okay and we already have one current over here right so let us apply current divider rule okay if you apply current divider rule so what is the original current what is the entering current 3 amperes into what is the resistance you have here 8 ohms right 8 divided by 8 plus 4 okay that means you will get 3 into 8 by 12 so you will be getting 2 amps as the i2 so i2 is equal to how much 2 amps but your task is not to just find out i2 your task is to find out v2 v2 is equal to i2 times r r is nothing but here what 4 ohms because v2 is here right so it means 2 into 4 that means how much you will get it as 8 volts okay so v2 is equal to 8 volts and previously what did we get for v1 we got v1 as 2 volts how by removing this 3 amps okay now by removing the 6 volts source we are getting v2 as 8 so what does superposition theorem says algebraic sum of voltages 
acting due to each whatever voltages or current acting due to each independent source alone each independent source alone right so that means total voltage will be equal to v1 plus v2 which is equal to 2 plus 8 which is equal to 10 volts so v equivalent or voltage at 4 ohms resistor is equal to how much 10 volts by superposition theorem okay now i hope you guys are clear about the definition of superposition theorem whatever independent sources are present in the circuit you have to identify all those independent sources and each of the independent source you have to turn it off and find out the equivalent current or equivalent voltage whatever is asked in the question so in our case in the question what is asked find out the voltage that's why we are finding out the voltage if the current is asked you have to do the calculations for current and then you have to add all the voltages so that you get the total voltage okay so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching the video to the end uh, let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic